Hi, who wants a free corn maze for your miniature diorama, your Halloween village? I know I do. It comes with corn cobs, which were also free. Um, the cardboard makes the perfect corn rows. Of course, the witch I bought, it's just shown there for scale. So this project does end in tragedy. These are the guilty party. Um, apparently they like corn maze projects so much they just had to taste it. So what did I use for this? Um, I actually collected quack grass from my yard. As you can see, it, it does look a little bit like corn already. Um, I did dry the product. Um, it actually, I just left it on a table in my garage uh, for about a week and it came out nice and dry. Um, looks great. Again, like that one right there. The smaller ones really do look a lot like corn. So all I did was I weeded my garden. <laughs> So to get the, the field or the corn rows, I started with corrugated cardboard. Corrugation comes in different sizes, so as you're going through your recycle bin, you'll want to look at the different sizes that are there, and then you'll just peel off that top layer. Now I did leave some of that leftover glued cardboard just because I thought it looked like dirt. So now we'll want to prepare the dried grass for the project. Um, I did trim the roots a little bit. I um, liked them on there because in real life, corn does have some roots that come out from the top of the stalk and then go into the ground. And then from here, you'll want to cut the leaves on a very sharp angle, minimum, I'd say 45 degrees. And then I just used my thumbnail to really pull on the leaf to make it flatter. And then I, I gave it a nice bend. So if you look at a lot of pictures of corn, they do have that bend in real life. So continuing with that, you know, this will never be the, the perfect, you know, model corn. That's not what I'm looking for here. Um, I wanted something that still kept that organic character, but yet, you know, looked like corn. So when you're working with the grass, you'll notice that some of the leaves are wrapped around the stem. Um, and if you gently pull, you can sometimes free them. In this case, it was successful. In other cases, failure. But a natural product doesn't matter. In fact, these pieces that I'm cutting, these leaves, come in handy later because we'll do some additional work with the grass to give it a, a, a couple of features that make it look more like corn and a little bit less like weeds you pulled from your yard. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm just continuing with the project here, cutting everything to size, and then continuing to pull and separate the leaves wrapped around the stem further down um, to, again, give it that more traditional corn feel. At this point, we are ready to glue it on. So add a dab of hot glue and then push it into your cornfield. Now, sometimes I like to leave a gap between. I did come back and fill those in later. I just found it easier for me to do for the sake of the video. So as I continue to glue the pieces, you can see it's already starting to look a lot like a cornfield. So really exciting to see how this is all coming together. As I mentioned earlier in the video that we did save the leaves that we cut to make our piece look more like corn. So you can see on the left, it's really starting to look good. Here's some real corn, a uh, free, free image, just to give you a, a look of what we're going for. So you'll take those cut leaves, you'll bend them, and then again, I was using hot glue because it's instant gratification. You could also try... Uh, super glue, um, but I happen to have hot glue available since I was using it for the corn itself to put the stalks in. So those bent pieces a little ways down really add to the look and the 
The grass that I pulled naturally dried in different colors, a look I really enjoy. If you're looking for all green or all tan, of course you could separate yours out, but for me, um, this would have worked great in my diorama had the dogs not eaten it, but um, you win some, you lose some, so I guess I'll just have to make this again, make it twice. So. The finished product, at least for the sake of this video, looked amazing. I did continue on and then it got destroyed. But um, rather than talk about that, let's talk about two options for corn ears. Now the first option, again, I these were weeds I pulled. I thought they actually, yeah, they look a little bit like wheat. But you can trim it down, trim the little fuzzy parts off, or very short in my case, and then paint them yellow. Um, I also used hot glue to glue them on, and I think they look great. It was also very easy. So if you're looking for a faster project, one that um, you know is a, is going to get you instant awesome, um, check it out. It it really does look great. I'm very happy with how that looked, especially once I painted it yellow. So for the paint, I just used your basic acrylic craft paint I bought at a big box store part of a larger set worked out and then just dabbed it on with a small paintbrush and then let it dry um, I do like this look you can vote in the comments what you know tell me what you think about it uh, for me I, I put on the paint really thick to make it look a little bit more like corn a little less like wheat but I had a suggestion for the corn ear option too and that's actually a grain of rice. <laughs> Just a basic piece of rice that I hot glued on a leaf, then painted yellow, then added some leftover leaves. So again, um, using those extra pieces that I had just lying around. So at first, when it's just the, the grain of rice is just glued on and painted yellow, I don't know if I really liked it that much. But once you start adding those leaves, it really does give a nice look. Now, it, it's definitely difficult to work with. Um, maybe I'd make it on the side first and then glue it on later. You'll have to tell me what you think. Which is better? The seeds? Like that? Or the rice? Like that? Uh, you know, I, I, I like them both. Um, the seeds for me because it was quicker and easier. I have limited time. I have other stuff to do in my life. I love my Halloween village. I love the way this corn turned out. I can't wait to have a corn maze in the future and I'll share it with all of you when I'm done. Thanks for stopping by.